and it'll just be called that one time. So you need to remove it so that it can bind this function to the callback and call it each time that command is, is pressed. So, actually no, sorry. In this case, since we're gonna be passing in a parameter, we do need the parentheses and then we need to pass the parameter that we just created here and we bound caption to it. So each time going through the loop of captions, each time a button is, is created, this function is going to then um, bind the caption as it is in that, in that uh, cycle of the loop to button and then pass it to this, this callback function. So that way each time, so like if you press on number one, it'll call this function with the number one. But then if you press number two, it'll call this function with the number two. So we'll go ahead and test that out. So remember we have the one callback function for any button so we should be able to press any button and it should call this function with its unique caption. So if we press clear you can see over here in the, in the console it says button C clicked which is C is a caption and then if we press this it says button and then the caption click. Same thing for this and same thing for any button. So that saves us a lot of, of code instead of, you know, writing a, a single callback function for each of the buttons and then creating them each one at a time and binding the, the callback to each one. We save a lot of time and code by creating this list of the captions and then iterating through it to dynamically create a button. and bind the, the function to the one callback function. So now we have our view and we have our, our callback set up for each of the buttons. So now is now we need to go work with the, the model because it's like I said the model is going to be where the calculations are done. So go into our model and like I said this one this isn't aware of either the view or the controller so it didn't take any any initialized parameters um, but we're going to create a method called calculate a public method um, meaning no no prefix uh, underscore and again, in Python, that's not enforced, but that's still the, the convention you should use. So the calculate method will, will need the caption as well. So for now, we'll just say um, Oh, sorry. Um, we'll print calculating for caption. So now going back to our controller, when the button on the view is picked, is, is clicked, we're going to say that that calculate method of the model class is going to, we're going to want to return a result. So we're going to bind result to self.model.calculate and then we're just going to pass caption through it. So now this will call this method. So we're going to, we'll go ahead and test that out.
So you see over here in the console it says calculating for one, calculating for two, calculating for plus, calculating for division. So now we need to do the actual calculations. Oh, and then also once we get the result, we'll need to pass it back to the view. So we'll do that after we do some of the calculations over here. So we'll make a an instance variable for the model and call it value. This is basically going to hold what's displayed in the in that entry. So our simplest case, our first case is going to be if the user clicks the the C and the clear button. So we'll say if caption equals equals C then we're going to clear our value. So self dot value equals an empty string and then we're going to want to return that. So going back to our over here once we get the result from the model we're going to want to display it in the view. So self dot view dot and remember we don't we're not going to use the entry um, directly. We have this variable over here. So that's what we're going to be setting the value for. So self dot view value bar dot set it has a set method which you pass the value to. So we're going to pass our result. And then the other cases that we have. So let's look at our calculator. So let's do the the numbers so that we can begin to test some of the other ones. We'll, we'll start with the numbers. So remember when we created our list of button captions we left the numbers as integers and knowing that we can check um, instead of checking for each individual one so like we said if caption equals equals c instead of saying if caption equals equals zero equals equals one and then equals equals two and three and so on we can just check to see that it's a number and we can do it for all of those 10 numbers. So we'll say if this instance, this instance is a method that you can use to check whether an object is an instance of a certain class. Uh, the first parameter is the object, so caption. And then we want to check if it's an integer. So if this returns true, then we know it's 0 through 9. So in this case, and then remember we, in the calculator when you type in the numbers, they go, if you type 1 and then 2, it becomes 12. So we're going to add it to the end of our string. So self dot value, and we're going to increment the string using the, the shortcut, the plus equals. But remember, self.value is a string, and in this case, the caption is going to be an integer, so we need to convert it to a string. So it's going to add the string version of that number to the value, and then return it. So let's test that out. So if we press on one, now we have the one. We press a 2. So see we have the 12 now. And then we can do other numbers. And now we can test our clear method, which we already implemented. So that'll erase it. And then we can try it again. So, so far we have 
we can type in numbers. 